Hey guys, how you doing? It's Verona here today. I got some news for you. Finally, we have finally gotten a news wire that involves Grand Theft Auto's e and &E, the expanded and enhanced version. So let's get right into it. They finally decided to drop some news. Let's hope it's good news. So we're going to find out right now. Let me go with you and read the news wire. GTA 5 and GTA Online coming March 15th for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. Transfer story mode progress now. Plus, first details on GT Online profile migration. Alright, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online arriving on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S on March 15th. Delivering an addition packed blockbuster story mode adventure on dynamic, ever evolving world of GT Online in the largest generation consoles with a host of improvements and for new and returning players. <clears throat> These new versions of GTA 5 and GTA Online introduce high-end PC visuals to the console experience with new graphics modes featuring up to 40K resolution, a frame rate of up to 60 frames per second, improved texture quality, HDR options, and ray tracing, as well as utilizing technical advancements in the latest console hardware for faster loading times, immersive audio, support flash form mm -hmm. features, and more. Basically, the same thing that the PC has, we're gonna get it on console for PS5 and Xbox Series as next. That was uh that's no shocker there. Well, we were assuming that. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Experience the interwoven stories of Franklin, Michael, and Trevor across the sun soaked metropolis of Los Santos and the backwoods countryside of Blaine County in greater detail than ever before with stunning all new levels of visual detail. Choose from one of three detailed new graphic settings to tailor the gameplay experience for what matters most to you. Fidelity mode is tuned to the highest visual quality and target 30 FPS. In this mode, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S support native 4K resolution with ray tracing enabled, while the Xbox Series X supports upscale 4K resolution. Because of the limitations of the Series X, it's, that's not a shocker there. Performance mode is tuned up to the most responsive gameplay experience and targets 60 FPS per uh, 60 FPS, which is uh, frames per second. In this mode, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X support upscaled 4K resolution, while the Xbox Series S supports 10, 1080p. In addition, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X have Performance RT mode, a hybrid of the Fidelity and Performance mode, supporting upscaled 4K resolutions with ray tracing enabled and targeting 60 FPS. Again, same thing. Graphical, graphical improvements. This was expected. We're expecting that. Let's hope this is not the meat of the news wire. We need something a little more than something we already knew. These new versions also offer across-the-board improvements, including faster loading times, increased population and traffic variety, increased vegetation density, improved lighting quality across shadows, water reflections, and other elements, plus improved anti-aliasing, motion blur, highly detailed new explosions, fire, and much more. Again, PC has this already. It's nothing really new. Come on, Rockstar. Give us something meatier than that. There is also new levels of responsiveness with haptic feedback and dynamic resistance via the adaptive triggers of the PlayStation 5 DualSense wireless controller, adding new sensations to weather effects, directional damage, rough road surfaces, explosions, and much more. Platform-specific features also include immersed audio using Tempest 3D, positional audio on PlayStation 5, and special sounds for Xbox Series X and S. Now that implementation of the haptic feedback, that should be interesting. Grand Theft Auto Online, the massive and unraveled experience of GTA Online with an unprecedented eight plus years worth of gameplay. I don't know if you want to be <laughs> advertising it's been eight years already, but let's say eight years worth of gameplay additions delivered across over 40 unique updates will continue to evolve with the power of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. The new generation of GTA Online includes a range of new vehicles and new additions to the Los Santos car meet. How special works. How special works. How Special Works encompasses best-in-class vehicle upgrades, a new class of races using specially modified vehicles, and a weekly rotation of How Special Works time trials, along with a premium test ride whenever you get you can get behind the wheel of these newly modified vehicles for free. Uh, in addition to access being included as part of GTA 5, GTA Online will also now be available for the first time as a standalone title for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and X. Plus, for the first time, for the first three months from launch, GTA Online will be available to download and keep for free for PlayStation 5 players, making it easier than ever before for new players to experience everything GTA Online has to offer. So basically, the only new stuff that they're adding right now is How Special Workshop. Plus all the graphical improvements that were said before. Nothing really new. I mean, and from what we've heard, from what I've heard before, only 10 vehicles are going to be able to um, use how special works. So uh, it's, not, it's not the best. So let's see, hopefully they're adding more. Like the, there's a special time trials. Okay. Uh, um, we need more, Rockstar. What else do you got? 
And new players might need more than just a pistol in their belt strap to survive Los Santos. So we're introducing a new career builder feature designed expressively for new players and anyone who wants to reset their character and get a fresh start. Now, if you have a build, let's say you're like one of us, like, like one of the community who's spent like the last seven or eight years playing this game. Why would you want to start over? Like, why would you want to lose all that, that all, the, all the stuff that you built up for the last eight years to start over? This is more designed for new players. I don't, I don't really know anybody who's going to want to do everything all over again. Uh, okay, so to get an introductory leg up on the criminal world of Southern San Andreas, with this system, you get a $4 million windfall to select essentials, including business properties, vehicles, and weapons. The only thing that I would get if I was starting new is get the sub. Use those $4 million to get the sub and the sparrow. And do a bunch of Kyle. Furthermore, GTA Online for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S has an assortment of new quality of life improvements, including a newly designed direction and tutorial for new players, again, focusing on new players, a new front-end main menu that allows you to jump directly to free mode, heist races, adversary modes, latest featured weekly event content, and more. So basically, the start the start menu for Red Dead Online, the game you've neglected. Because there, you could just jump into... Uh, 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 a shootout series. You could jump into a camp. You could jump into one of the roles. Uh, okay, so they're just basically implementing the the menu from Red Dead Online, the game you neglected, into GTA Online. Story mode and GTA Online character transfers. PS4 and Xbox One players will be able to transfer both their GTA 5 story mode progress and their current GTA Online character and progression to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, or across console platforms with a one-time migration for each. Starting today, players can begin transferring their story mode progress by uploading a save to the Rockstar Games Social Club. To, get this, to begin this process, enter a GTA 5 on your current console account and go to the game tab on the pause menu. From there, select the upload save game option. Please note you can only store one game save per platform at a time and saves will remain available to download for 90 days. Players with a Rockstar Games Social Club account will also be able to migrate their GTA Online character progress for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S on March 15th upon loading up the game on either one of these new consoles. This migration includes any characters, GTA money, progression, stats, vehicles, properties, weapons, clothing, and player created jobs. Well, I would hope so. GTA 5 and GTA Online will be available digitally on March 15th through PlayStation 5 consoles, uh, console store, and the Microsoft Store with pre-purchase and pre-loading beginning on March 8th. And physical releases coming in April. Stay tuned for more details. Players will only be able to transfer their purchased GTA money when migrating from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5 or from Xbox One to Xbox Series X and S. And that is it. Wow. That's it. That's a bunch of nothing. No price. First of all, I don't even think there's not even a trailer. There's just a bunch of pictures. I don't see a trailer. So no gameplay, no gameplay footage. Just a bunch of uh, doctored up pictures that look really nice. No pricing. They're still not telling us the price of what we're going to pay if we want to buy the whole package. Okay, the, the PS5 version, we're getting it for free, the online only. They're saying about story progression, but they're not saying how much we're going to have to pay to, to bring the, our story uh, to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. That price is still up in the air. The only thing we know is that for PlayStation 5 owners... It's going to be free for only three months. So from March 15th, what is it? March, April, May, June. June 15th is the last day. So what what will we have to pay if we miss out on those three months? Let's say for the people that haven't had it on PlayStation 5, let's say they get it after June 15th. What is the price that they're going to have to pay to get the standalone on the PlayStation 5? Nothing like that. Or for the Xbox people who won't be getting anything for free, what do they have to pay? It doesn't say. Nor does it add anything else. Like, we knew that they were going to do all these graphical improvements. We knew about the, the ray tracing. We knew about the upscaling for 4K. We knew about all that because it's on the PC already. PC players are already enjoying all of this. This is nothing new. Like, this is this is a bunch of nothing. The only the only news that I got it was the haptic feedback integration because I didn't know about that. Maybe some people knew, but I didn't know. And then the career builder thing. Which is nothing for like veteran players. This is all for new people. This is the other thing that I've been really worried about Rockstar. They're focusing way too much on new players. This game is 8 years old. How many more new players are you going to try to feed into this game? Like you should be concentrating on your current community. Not trying to build more people into this. More kids into this game. Like I don't know how many people are going to want to restart. On the Playstation 5 or the Xbox Series X and S. 
if you've been on this game spot even four five six seven eight years since the whole lifetime of gta online do you really want to do this career builder thing and start all over i don't think so not, at least i wouldn't i don't know about anybody else I mean, there, there'll probably be some people who will be crazy enough to be like okay they're, they're so dedicated to this game they're so hardcore about this game that they'll do a start over but it's just a waste it's just a waste and there's like no real information there's no it's telling us what else they're going to add to the online there's no pricing uh, there's this is a bunch of nothing because we already knew most of this stuff already. So this is kind of I I was expecting news because they kind of had to release something, but they released pretty much a bunch of nothing. They just released a bunch of words here that don't don't really get me excited for this. I'm really worried about E and E. Like I'm thinking that they're gonna release this now and they're gonna just add all that stuff like in a year. Like they're gonna take their time if they're gonna add anything like. Like new, like new businesses specific to use the power of the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and X. They're probably going to do all that stuff like in a year when they have a better grip of, uh, of what they're doing. Cause right now I don't think they know what they're doing. This, this is a bunch of nothing. I don't like, I don't like this news wire. It doesn't tell me anything that I wanted to know. It doesn't tell me pricing. Doesn't give me blame gameplay. Doesn't show you any improvements. These pictures don't show you anything. It's, it's just, it's really disheartening that they really struggle to communicate. And to tell us what we need to know. This is coming out March 15th. We still don't have pricing. We don't have gameplay trailer. We don't have any essential information. This is just basically here. Shut up. Stop this. Stop complaining. Why well, won't? I'm sorry, but I'm I'm not really looking forward to how uh, this E and E expanded and enhanced. I'm not sure how expanded or how enhanced it's gonna be. Besides the graphics, which I, we already knew, but we don't know how much of a jump it's going to be. I really doubt it's going to be like when we jump from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4. I don't. From what I've seen, it doesn't look like it's going to be that big of a jump from when it was from that generation. I hope I'm wrong, but we'll see. Well, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.